something that is cheap and good but we're gonna make sure it lasts a while by doing a couple little extra things to it as you can see here there's a slight difference already I went ahead and took the steps to do the prep work and uh, I'm, what I'm gonna do is break down this whole build and explain to you why it's a lot more other weird objects here and uh, how they're gonna come into play to making your investment worth it I'm building a really good fire pit so one of the first things that I did was take all of these pieces the main pieces that are gonna see heat like the legs the bowl and these are the outside edges that also let this grill piece drop in. Really nice feature about this, not only is it 12 and a half inches deep, but it does actually have like a real full on campfire style grill. I mean, you really could cook on it, it's pretty sweet. Okay, so as you can see here, or I'll show you in the pictures here, I'll, this is a Georgia clay color, you could also get it in a black. The first thing I did was touch it up with some sandpaper if it's not good paint, it's not going to dry good, and of course it wasn't. This is only 320 that I went over it with just to touch it with. So, I mean, this is just some basic stuff. I went about six pieces of 320 grit all over it, all over these pieces, all over the legs here. And uh, once I was done with that, I wiped it all down with alcohol, several passes until the paper towels started coming back more clear. And then I went over everything with this Rust-Oleum high heat paint. And so what you want to do is all these pieces that are touching the fire, you want to make sure that you get this up really good. You want to prep it really well. Do it out in the sun. Try to make sure one tip is uh, get the, the older style one. This I found at Walmart with the older tip. It sprays much better than the other one that's a wide tip. If you even have a sneeze of wind with uh, the newer generation, it's going to just mist all over and waste your paint. They're, they're pretty affordable. Uh, I, I went over everything very, very thickly. Extra in thick! Coats. I wanted to make sure I did a very good job getting a good coverage on everything. And I used three cans total. I used one can of black, or actually I used three and a half cans. I got two cans of black and two cans of red. And I went through both cans of the red and then I did the black also. And so I ended up actually not realizing I would need that much paint and so I thought I would do everything in the red. The reason it's two different colors is because I could get the black at the Walmart the next day. So I wanted to go ahead and get all that done. Save the time of showing you a time lapse of sanding and painting. Everybody's seen that a million times. Another nice thing about this, you do have a really nice poker. It comes with an ash lid that will be catched here. And you'll be able to like pick that up and move all your fire stuff around in there. It's really nice. Once you do get to the painting, be sure to put on masks. This is a, a very heavy duty, like automotive style if you're doing a carcinogen type paint which this is just an aerosol, nothing but this is all the one I had and I just figured better put on the nice one. I might need this grinder, I'm not sure, but if I do, I'm, it's gonna be for trimming up these bricks. I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set these bricks inside of here. And what we have here is a very nice fire brick. You could get these in any sizes, I believe. This is nine by four and a half by like an inch and a quarter or something like that. And as I mentioned, I might be cutting them up, I'm not really sure, but the second layer of protection that we're going to do is the most important. The paint helps it a lot, but the reaction is from the ashes, and that's why it's going to get corrosive and make the metal rust even faster. It's going to accelerate that. By putting a nice layer of heat-proof materials on here, extremely heat-proof materials, it's going to help make sure that the heat doesn't get to that and fatigue the metal, and again, accelerate the rust. So, like I said, I might be cutting this up on the grinder, I'm not really sure, but what we're going to do is just place them in, try to cover this the best, and what I'm going to do this is not the right size bag, but I'm going to cover this with sand to fill in all the cracks. And so I want to have a nice layer right about here, maybe a little lower, to make sure that the ashes aren't going to be touching anything and that it will actually be able to cover it super well, insulate it very good, and it will last a very long time. Okay, so now it's time to put it all together. So one of the first things that you want to do is take all of your hardware off. I made sure to leave it on while I was painting so I could hang it. I can hang it this way. Same here, I left the screws in. So, as you get ready to assemble, I like to get all my hardware together with all my tools that need to do it. That way I can make sure I don't forget anything. 
super important. So what we're going to do is go ahead and start to put the legs on. What you don't forget is to get the washers off on the bottom of this. You might have to knock them to get them to come out. And let's go. Together, those top rim pieces were a bit of a mess. They're all bent in a slightly different angles the way they welded them. It does take some massaging, as you saw. You could probably have loosened up every bolt and fiddled with it, but meh, nah, just massage it. All right, now time to move on to the bricks. Okay, so here you go. Laid out pretty good with six of them. There we go. It's a lot easier to see once you're looking over the camera here, the coverage. But yeah, nice and even, pretty, pretty good there. Looks nice. And what I'm going to do is just take sand. To be honest, if you don't have sand, that's really not that big of a deal. But uh, I accidentally only bought five pounds. Oh, there's bear. And so what we do is just, when you do get whatever you have, just dump it in and try to, my goal is to probably get like another 15 pounds or so. The goal is to just get it all nice and level. I'll fill all these crevices here too. I don't have the sand, I'm gonna have to do that later. So here we go, we're gonna just end the video like that. And here you go, all assembled, it came out great. And for, I think I got less than 130 bucks in this altogether. Can't complain. Looks really nice. It's going to be awesome to use. Looking forward to it. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like and subscribe. It really helps my small channel grow. Thanks a lot. Have a good day.